Hi, my name is Suba Gurwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to measure peaks and valleys on a graph. So I'm going to draw an example graph for you right here. So say we have some graph that looks like this. Oftentimes, when we're talking about peaks and valleys, we're not talking about the absolute maximum or the absolute minimum because the function is often going to be extending towards positive and negative infinity. What we're generally talking about is localized maxima and localized minima. And that the definition for that is the highest value that the function reaches within a given interval. So like within this interval right here, this is the highest function, and within this interval right here, this is the lowest value. And so if you're just trying to locate local maxima and local minima, or peaks and valleys on a graph, how to calculate it, you just look for the points that meet this definition. There's another one right here, because this is lower than any of values in like a really small interval. And then you can look at the graph itself and figure out what these values are. So this would be on graph paper, for example, and this would be like 2, and this would be like 3, negative 3 here. And this local minima right here, this valley, could be written as 2, negative 3. And that's how you calculate peaks and valleys. My name is Suba Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.